That's Zion Labdov on the right there. Boxing for Russia. And over in the blue corner. Carlos Sanchez, I think he would go by. They've given him the, the full treatment in terms of the name. They've put down all the, all the given names that he would give it. Carlos Santiago Sanchez Moreno. Round so, one. 64 kilos, Zainal Labadov of Russia, the European youth champion in the red there, and Carlos Sanchez in the blue. Decent right hand there from Zainal Labadov. Was well short with the right hand there, Zainal Labadov. Got his shape back together nice and quick. Right hand came in from Sanchez. Jab just snuck through the guard there from Sanchez as well. Swapping right hands. Sonia Labadovs was probably slightly the better of the two. Nice jab there from the Russian. Saw the head snap back of Sanchez. So in Southpaw there very briefly, Sanchez was kind of standing square for a second there. Combination coming in there from Zainal Abadov. Just heating up this into the second half of round one. Good fight, though. Left hand there from Zion Labadov was bang on the belt line. I don't think the referee was in the right position to, to see it, or he might have had a quick word about low blows. As soon as you stray near the border, then the referees will, will generally have a quick word. Left hand from Zainal Abadov. Referee telling Sanchez to keep his head up, leading off with a, a left hand there, Zainal Abadov. Just dipping to his left and just ripping through with it. Didn't manage to make contact. Right hand just about got there from the Russian. Again, reaching to the body with the left. Sanchez with the one, two. Both of these two operating kind of right on the edge of their range here. The punches are just about getting there most of the time. He steps in with the left of the body there, Zainal Abadov. Good left-hand counter, though, from Sanchez. Cuffing left hand as he just shrugged him off from the Colombian as well. Final few seconds of, of round one. Good fight, good competitive opening round. And split with the scoring, that doesn't surprise me. Ten nines in favour of Zainal Labadov from Slovakia, Sri Lanka and Korea, and the other way for Israel and Azerbaijan. It'll be interesting to see in this second round if either one of them just commits that little bit more, just gets that feet slightly, gets those feet rather slightly round closer. Two. As I said in the first round, a lot of the time they're right on the borderline of range and those jabs and right hands are 
are touching their opponent, and that counts. That's a good right hand there from Sanchez. He did step in a little bit more with that one, as did Sander Labadov there. Chances are, signs are here that they're going to do exactly what I suggested they might. Left hand to the body there from Zainal Labadov and just commit a little bit more, step into their shots more. Look to really try and punch through that target rather than just reach it. Does like to lead off with that left hand. It does leave him quite open, though, Zaina Labadov. It's, it's a dangerous shot. You can see it coming because he has to really open out for it. To Southpaw there, Sanchez. Not for very long. Nice jab there from Sanchez, and Zainal Abedov was, was trying to move in. Got hit with the jab. It wasn't rock solid, but it was solid enough. Just caused him to lose his balance. And when that happens, he's got to take a step off, reset, go again. Nice left hand to the body there from Sanchez on the inside. That drew a little bit of a reaction from Zainal Abedov. I was only a few feet away from that one into the final minutes of round two. And again, this is similar to the first round. There's not much between these two at all. So in a I think probably throws slightly more volume. Sanchez maybe a little bit more accurate, but trying to assess who has landed the greater volume of clean punches between these two is not an easy thing to do. Right hand into the body there as Zainal Abedov came forward and a short right too. Opened out for the right hand and Sanchez just shot straight right down the middle himself which got there before Zainal Abedov's hook. Good left hand to the body there from Sanchez. And a short left as Zainal Abedov is closing in. Well, we may well see some more split scoring in this second round, I think. It's a distinct possibility anyway. Ten nines across the board for Zainal Abedov, so he's got a clear advantage there with three of the cards. Two rounds to zero up on three cards, level on the other two. Seconds out, please. Third round. So third and final round, Mikhail Zainal Abadov of Russia, European Youth Champion in the red. Carlos Santiago Sanchez Moreno of Colombia in the blue. And he's got it all to do, the Colombian, in this final round because Zainal Abadov is two rounds up on three of the cards, the other two even. So Sanchez Moreno has got to make sure he wins this round and he's going to need to win it big too because he'll have to score a 10-8 with one of those three judges who's currently got him two rounds down. Long right hand there from Zainal Abedov. Just disturbed the features of Sanchez. And the Columbia just pouring everything into this that he possibly can at the minute. It's been fought at a really good pace, this, from the very beginning. It's been hot.
Sanchez looking for the body. Lovely uppercut on the inside there. And he's putting Zainal Abadov under some pressure here close up. That's a good spell for him. Again, the uppercut there, this time from Zainal Abadov with the right hand. These two just staying right on top of each other until the very end. <laughs> Tried to come over the top of the right hand there, Sanchez, and Zainal Abadov just slipped to his left hand side. Let it whistle past him and then replied with a left to the body. Smart bit of boxing. Good fight. As I said, good competitive fight all the way through. Zainal Abadov is going to win it because he had a two-point advantage on three of the cards heading into that third and final round and there's there's no way that that Sanchez has been able to turn things around to the extent that he needed to because he needed a very dominant round in that final round not just to win it he needed to win it big Ladies and gentlemen, and uh, winner of about number 163 in ring B, win by points with the unanimous decision from the red corner, Mikhail Zoin Abidov, Russia. So Nilabdov gets it by unanimous decision. Split scoring again in, in round three.